Yo guys, welcome back on Unreal Dystopia. Today we are gonna learn how to spawn emitters on a multiplayer game. So here you can see that I am on the client side of the game, uh, on the top left of the screen. And when I click E, you can see that I am spawning an explosion emitter, okay? And the server and the second player or the second uh, client uh, both can see it, okay? This is how, well, this is what we are gonna learn today. So welcome back guys uh, we are gonna start by the uh, character blueprint okay if you followed my previous series you should know uh, know how to spawn an emitter at a location okay so we are gonna use this node okay spawn an emitter at location the location is gonna be the word location of this scene component that i put just here there it is okay this is just for the transfer the transform on the world so guys you will see that if i am if i use directly an input for example the e key button and hit compile and test here the players will not see the emitter spawned uh, spawned by each other okay uh, whatever it is the server or the client uh, actually it's pretty simple to do so okay so you just create two custom events one you will set the replicate uh, section to run on server and the other one on multicast and of course you will trigger the multicast one from the server and from the multicast you are gonna spawn the emitter and the input or the e key button will trigger the server custom event and hit compile now you should see all the players see the uh, emitter of each other okay so for now it's simple uh, because we are uh, on or we we are spawning the emitter from the character or the player character okay and you know that the player character is replicated by, def by default so if you go to your character blueprint here and on the class default here if you type you click you type replicate you should see the replicate uh, box checked to true and by the way, this is why you see the characters of the each player by default when you uh, when you start um, uh, sorry when you start a listen server section. Okay, guys. So if you click play, you directly see each character of each player without any uh, logic or without any settings uh, done before. So that's for the emitters spawned by, by the players. But what about emitters spawn on object, objects that are not yet on the level? So here, remember on the previous uh, tutorial, we have uh, discussed the, how to spawn or how to properly spawn uh, actors on the, the world. I invite you to go see it. So here we, we have just a sphere. Okay, guys. And we are going to play with this replicate uh, box here. Okay. So for the event graph. Let's start by event begin play. We put a delay of three seconds, and now after three seconds, we should see an explosion just like for the players or the player characters. So let's try. If we click play, we can see that. Oh, sorry, we don't have the object yet. Okay, let's click play. So now you can see that the explosion occurred for each player but on a different moment this is because they are not synchronized okay even if the replicate box is checked to true so let's check it to false and you should see the same result you can see that each player is seeing this actor because we put it on the scene before but uh, the events inside the blueprint are not synchronized so as we done for the character blueprint we are just going to create two custom events one for the server and the second one for the emitter so here after the begin play we are going to trigger the server node okay and after the second from the second node we are gonna trigger the, the multicast node and the multicast 
will spawn an explosion on this scene transform okay guys so let's test it and beware that here our replicate uh, box is set to true okay now our actor is replicated or is um, spawned or is on this, the, the, the scene for each player and if you followed the previous video here since we are we have checked this box we are uh, we, we have the exact same actor on the screen of each player okay but if we check this to uh, force uh, you will see the, the the sphere on each uh, screen for each player but it will not be the exact same the, 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 the exact same sphere so let's test it sorry Click play now you can see that the explosion occur for each uh, player and at the the exact same moment so if you want to uh, check or if you want to be sure we can add a return node i will explain so here after it end we can just call the server node again but here we are going to add a delay okay of let's say three seconds also and beware that you should put the delay after the server and before the multicast because remember the server is handling all the logic in the game so if you put the delay here for example on the multicast node each client will trigger the node uh, the, will trigger the server node after a certain uh, the delay of three seconds but since they are not synchronized so the three seconds will occur definitely in time okay so let's test it if you hit play you can see that the explosion occur at the same moment for all the players the clients and the server but see what happened if i put the delay here for example on the multicast You will see some chaotic effect okay that's right you see the explosion occur on the server but it decay on the clients and also so that's said that's the delay back on the appropriate place so now you see you know how to spawn an emitter on uh, an actor okay which is not a player but with replicate uh, the box checked on okay so now uh, again i invite you to see the previous video to uh, understand what i mean by a replicated actor or not okay so now be aware that this sphere is the same on the three screen okay but if i uncheck this box okay you will see a different different uh effect so after three seconds it the explosion occur on the server but not on the client okay this is because we kept the same uh logic here to spawn the emitter so here we put run, execute execute on server and then trigger the multicast but we are triggering multicast on a non replicated actor okay so this actor don't know the uh, the other clients okay what we need to do here we need to call every ball or every sphere uh, and spawn the emitter uh, individually but we cannot do this here or we can do this here but it will be chaotic uh, the what you can do instead go back to your character blueprint okay uh, we, we keep this replicate box uh, off okay false go back to your character blueprint and here what you will do you will create two custom events one for the server the other for the multicast okay a trigger or an input the input where will trigger the server node the server node will trigger the multicast node and then after the multicast okay after the multicast we use the get all actor of class okay of 
the sphere so now on each client we are gonna get the sphere okay remember it is not replicated on the other client so we need to take every uh, every sphere or every test object from each client and this is the way to do this and then we trigger the event that spawn the emitter here you can see a not replicate emitter it is an event that i created here before so it is a custom event not replicated okay it's uh, just like the uh, single game hello logic to spawn an emitter now if i click the input which is the thumb button on the mouse you can see that the emitter happen on each client okay guys and here what you just seen here is the delay uh, that we uh, that we kept here i will just delete this so now you know how to spawn an emitter on a character blueprint which is really simple just create two custom events and you know how to spawn an emitter on a replicated uh, or actor and a non-replicated actor okay a replicated and non-replicated why do you use uh, replicated and not replicated non-replicated i explained this on the, the previous video uh, named how to properly spawn actors on a multiplayer game so guys thank you for watching this tutorial uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and see you in the next tutorial